Dan O'Brien, Extension Agricultural Economist at Kansas State University. Uh, in this uh, time period where the coronavirus has affected the U.S. economy and uh, movement of grain so much uh, and, and usage uh, on livestock and in, in uh, some of our fuel-related industries, it seems to be good to take a good quick look at uh, trends in Kansas soybean prices and costs. Let's take a quick look at, at factors affecting things. Probably the big overriding deal that, that, deal, that that's plaguing over overhanging soybean market is Brazil's set to harvest a, a record 2020 crop. Uh, however, they've had some dry weather of late and things have, uh, have uh, their numbers have been trimmed some. Also, the uh, uh, coronavirus has affected the ports in South America, uh, particularly Argentina. And uh, we hear of that also coming into play in, in Brazil with talk of, of port strikes, et cetera. So this coronavirus, coronavirus issue has some uh, unforeseen uh, impacts on things, as it has resulted in more buying of U.S. soybean ex exports by China, uh, with the with South America being affected. We'll we'll see it to the degree uh, that that holds true. Uh, we'll we'll see how it all plays out. It seems to be a bigger issue in Argentina than Brazil. We do have a uh, soybean planting number coming up in the uh, U.S. Prospective Plantings Report uh, Tuesday, March the 31st. Uh, estimates, a uh, fair, fairly wide range of estimates. USDA on probably on the high side, some other folks coming in on the low side. Uh, 80 to 85 million acres, probably. And again, uh, here we're struggling in the corn market, particularly on the ethanol side. You're wondering if the, the strength we're anticipating seeing for soybeans will shift farmers' farmers' choices as what they as what they'll do. A lot of seeds have been bought, no doubt, but uh, but we'll again we. Uh, we'll see how well we can get in fields. Looks like we're going to be, be able to get in fields pretty well for corn planting. So that'll, that that in itself will probably affect uh, amount of corn acres for soybeans. But price difference, di differential, if cur current conditions continue to go forward, is probably going to favor soybeans more and more. Take a look at the futures. Uh, you know, and you see this impact on the soybean futures. Whereas corn just just up a little bit here now. You've seen a about a dollar, a uh, dollar plus impact on the futures for for soybean move, move higher. Eastern Kansas, uh, high and low bids, uh, they've also moved moved higher. So things are happening. Quote. Uh, note that that uh, when we got the low that we got down to is about 750 for for the uh, basically country elevators, and that's in essence where we were back again in August. So in the midst of all that panic that we went through in these markets. Basically, we got down to where we were last August when things fell to the lower side. Uh, take a look at Eastern Central cash prices. Um, they're above cost of production. Had dipped below that, uh, covering full cost at 758. North Central Kansas 40 bushel, non-irrigated. Uh, worst of things, and now back up, back up above things. Uh, and that's covering all costs, including including land. And note again uh, uh, that we got down to our lows in July and August of last year. Southwest Kansas, uh, here you're looking at now. Uh, even in Southwest, uh, we're we're uh, you know not not thought to be a major export uh, originator for uh, for soybeans uh, in in the U.S. Still, you've seen prices move to the high side, and that, that demand pull coming in and affecting uh, soybean prices, covering all costs under irrigation. Uh, as we've said on some of these other tapes, talk about other other crops. Boy, you need a lot of bushels to cover fixed costs. So we cover direct costs pretty readily. Start adding land, irrigation equipment in, and, and you got to have units to cover those costs. So uh, all, all these numbers generally below our budgeted costs for for total cost break even. Note again, uh, even for but uh, for soybeans, uh, we got down at the worst of this, the 16, 17, 18, uh, recent price lows at, in the for the low side of the, of the market down to where we were basically last last summer. So interesting to see. We'll again uh, try to keep keep abreast of what's going on in these in the markets. And uh, I, I think the big thing to watch for now will be one on one the planning contention report, the other, uh, how the US stimulus will come in and affect the US economy and uh, and help keep demand going and and jobs and a whole bunch of other things uh, uh, in response to this coronavirus. We shall see. Dan O'Brien, Kent State University, appreciate the chance to speak with you. Thank you.